Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will discuss on difference between Paravidya and Aparavidya. What are the two kinds of knowledge which we have and what do they exactly mean? These terminologies are very vividly used in the scriptures, especially the Vedic scriptures, which help us to distinguish between what is good and bad, what is right and wrong and what is worthy of our aspirations and what is not so worthy of our aspirations if you have not subscribed to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the like button and share it with your family friends and colleagues so that they also know the difference between paravidya and aparavidya what is paravidya and what is Aparavidya? Well, they refer to spiritual and material knowledge. Okay. When we say spiritual and material, what does it mean? Spiritual and material simply means that there are things in this world which are in the domain of the mundane realm. And there are things which are beyond the mundane realm. And when we come to the spiritual world, when I say spiritual world, I mean that when we come to the understanding of the scriptures, it is very important that we know the difference between what is matter and what is spirit. If you do not know that, then you will be caught up in the system and then later you will be confused with which path to choose, which path not to choose. Because the distinctions at the initial stages of our spiritual life is very important. For example, when you are a beginner in the armed forces, if you go for the training, then what is taught to you? That this is, is a good person, this is a bad person. Bad person means he or she is a thief and he or she is a civilian and also he is your enemy, he is your friend, he is the civilian of the country. All these things are told in the armed forces or if you go in the domain of the police or the army, yes, because that is very important in the initial phases because if you do not know that, then you will not be having that script in your mind if you if from the day one the army officer is taught that oh everybody is a good person everybody is nice there are no thieves that which is taught to a sadhu then there will be disaster right because he will not undergo the training of what are the traits of somebody who can murder somebody what are, by how, how will you know by seeing a person if he is likely to be a thief or a murderer because in the initial days we have to have a shift from our current situation. Do you understand? Shift means a reprogramming of our existing psychology. That is very important in the initial days. Otherwise, if we try to pretend like a great elevated spiritual personality, for example, by thinking that everything is good, there's nothing good or bad, everything is just the way it is, Everything is meant to be the way it is. These kind of statements, they will probably not serve anything good to us in the initial stages. Ultimately, we have to come to that level where we see everybody as a soul. But when we are at the initial stages, it is very important that we learn to discriminate things. It's not judgmental. It is not to make you judgmental, but to discriminate between what is good and bad, what is right and wrong, what is spiritual, what is material. For example, what does Paravidya mean? Paravidya refers to spiritual knowledge and Aparavidya refers to mundane knowledge. Para means beyond and Apara means that which is not beyond. Now, the Gita says that the things that we see around that belongs to the material nature which means that belongs to the material creation. These have been created 
on a material realm and they have a finite time period for which they are existing there because one of the traits of material nature is it is temporary it is not permanent that means whatever you see around whatever you sense or whatever you experience that is temporary that will not stay for eternity because that's the quality that's the characteristic of matter that it is non-permanent but on the other hand paravidya which is spiritual knowledge tells us that there is a world there is a realm beyond this material existential quantifiable reality which you see now which you feel which you visualize which you experience that is why i said existential quantifiable reality it might sound like physics <laughs> but existential means it exists it is there quantifiable means you can say okay this is this much that is that much and reality means you actually perceive it you actually feel it paravidya says that there is a world beyond this from where you have descended from where you have come and when we try to connect ourselves to the divine being god then we are reinstantiating our original nature which is actually spirit which is actually divine with the source of all divinity who is god himself that means paravidya can help us to go beyond this world to our original identity which is considered to be the which is ideally to be the end goal of human life because human life is not meant for enjoyment on a mundane sense that does not mean that you are not allowed to be happy you are supposed to be happy within the regulations of the scriptures on a mundane level and beyond that you are supposed to seek happiness in the divine in god and when we do not get that happiness in god or in spiritual activities that same search the quest for happiness goes into different areas of this mortal world it can go to anything into the opposite sex or it can go to food it can go to music or anything else when we do not find that contentment that fulfillment which our inner nature depends or uh, demands all the time in god but the predicament is we are not aware of the fact that we have to search that higher happiness in something else we will never become satisfied by whatever is there with us in this mundane world but that's the predicament because i said because the society has projected things to us in such a way that the only problem is because you do not have this you are not happy only reason is you because you are not happy is you do not have a iphone or you do not have a macbook or you do not have the most beautiful girl in the class or you do not have the most handsome man in the town or you do not have the most paying job or you are not earning a million dollars or you are not going to the pub or you are not drinking you are not having fun that is why you are miserable that's the programming which has been religiously inculcated in everybody from the day one of your birth because of which we have started thinking that yes this world is all in all this will only uh, this is the only thing which will give us happiness and fulfillment which is not the case unfortunately because if that would be true there would not be so much difficulty there would not be so many problems in this world which is there today unfortunately that means along with aparavidya which is material knowledge it is very important that we also try to learn what is paravidya because that will connect us to our original identity which is with the divine with god and then we can ultimately be happy okay that is it from my side if you have any questions and queries and comments on 
what is pa vidya what is apala vidya then let me know in the comment section or if you want me to make any other video on anything else then i am there to fulfill whatever you desire okay until next time bye bye see you